From the mighty mammoth to the SeaTac sloth, Washington is a great place for finding fossils. Oh, it's not like any other place. Paleontologist Elizabeth Nesbitt and naturalist David Williams teamed up to write the ultimate guide to the fossils in this state, spirit whales and sloth tales. The sloth in the title is this nine foot tall giant ground sloth discovered at SeaTac in 1961 when they were building a new runway. The construction people pulled up some bone and said, oh, we should do something with this. So they came to the book and the people here said, that's a sloth, this is very exciting. Some prehistory to ponder next time you fly out of Seattle. So you think about all the other things that are underneath the runways there. <laughs> There's probably all sorts of stuff there. This salmon was caught by a woman on a riverbank near Shelton. And she's not doing very well fishing, so she, does, she looks down at her feet and sees these fossils down at her feet. Proving that a million years ago, salmon migrated just like they do today. Also in the book and at the Burke, Washington's first dinosaur found on Susha Island in the San Juans. Because it's just a little bit of a femur, but they, they know roughly that it's in that family that includes things like T-Rex. So it's a carnivore. It's a for big sure. carnivore. Yeah. It was a big yeah, carnivore. 80 million year old. Mm -hmm. And how about this rare intact whale found in a quarry on the Olympic Peninsula? It is about 30 million years old. The whales are definitely the most exciting thing because they are specifically for Washington State. We don't get whales like this anywhere else, except in Japan and New Zealand. The Burke is more than a museum. It's a research facility where paleontologists uncover pieces of the planet's past. This scientist is working on a triceratops. Millions of years of Earth's history are filed away in hundreds of cabinets. Each of the cabinets is full of drawers. Each of the drawers is full of fossils. Spirit whales and sloth tales doesn't just tell the story of the fossils found in Washington. It shows that there are more to be discovered, likely right beneath our feet.